Love, Death and Robots is the latest animated show to hit Netflix. It's a sci-fi anthology like we've never seen before, with 18 different episodes ranging in lengths. Some are heavy, some are light, some are funny, and some are dark. Although there are 18 episodes, it feels as though you could continue to watch many more. So, out of all of the episodes that are on screen, what are the most powerful moments in the entire anthology? Well, let's find out. Before I go ahead, if you want to support the channel in a different way, then I've recently set up a Patreon. Over there, you can get your hands on some exclusive content that will be just for you. Take a look and see what you think. So without further ado, I'm Brain Pilot, and here are the five most powerful moments in Love, Death and Robots. Just to let you know, there will be spoilers in this video. Number 5. Symbolizing Death the fifth most powerful moment in the anthology is coming from an episode that wasn't my favourite by any means. This is from the episode Fish Night. The moment that I think is powerful in this episode is the moment where the young salesman goes up to swim with the spirits of all of the fishes that used to inhabit the desert that they're stranded in. You see him go from a point where he doesn't have the ability to physically touch the fish, to actually being able to. Once this happens, a shark appears and ultimately kills him. So, why is this powerful? Well, because it symbolizes what actually happened during the night that they were stranded there. I believe that the young salesman didn't wake up, and he didn't make it through the night. The older salesman suggested earlier that they should wait in the shade and relax so they can preserve energy and the heat that they were in. The young man chooses not to, and in turn is active throughout the rest of the day, getting worked up with no water. And I believe him joining the spirits of the animals that used to be there and being able to physically touch them shows the point in the night where he passed away. And the shark eating him confirms his death. Number 4. Satisfaction is everything. Coming in at number 4 on this list is the moment in the episode Zima Blue that I feel will have resonated with many viewers of this show. Zima Blue is an artist that is one of the most famous in the world and has had his work viewed by a worldwide audience and his artwork literally is out of this world. Whilst creating work that pleases everybody on a daily basis, the work that he does whilst bringing joy to others and fame and fortune to himself, it doesn't satisfy him at all, leaving him unhappy. The only thing he's found satisfaction with was when he was a mere swimming pool cleaning robot and he wasn't aware of as much as what he is in his final state. This then leads him to transform back into his old swimming pool cleaning machine and spend an eternity cleaning a pool, leaving him satisfied doing a smaller job and with a mind smaller than what he currently has. This is a powerful moment because it goes to show that although people may have all of the money in the world and be extremely famous, it doesn't always leave them feeling satisfied and the happiest that they could possibly be. Many celebrities face issues without being in the public eye and being within the public eye. And it's our perception that society has imprinted on us that money and fame is everything that leads people to look past people that are well off when in turn, they're just as vulnerable. Number three, ripping off arm. The next entry in this list is from the episode Helping Hand. The most powerful moment that occurs in this episode is the moment where it gets to the point that she literally needs a helping hand. Visually, whilst it's happening on screen, the expressions on her face and facing the fact that she has to rip off her own frozen arm is a sight to see. Throughout the few minutes, you've seen the woman try other options to try and get back to the ship and fail. And the fact that she has to rip her own arm off shows just how desperate she actually is. You almost imagine your own self in that situation when watching it. It's a moment that's not only powerful, but definitely memorable. Number two, speech towards the camera. Three Robots is most definitely one of the lightest episodes in the whole anthology. It's a comedic few minutes following three robots taking a trip to planet Earth and seeing what caused the downfall of the human race. It is after one of the robots explains this to us that makes it one of the most powerful moments in the whole show. Whilst looking directly down the camera, the robot states that humans believed that they were the pinnacle species on the planet and that they poisoned the water, killed the land and choked the sky. In the current position in time that we're in at the moment, they say that we're at a turning point where we have a chance to repair the damages that we've made 
or we take the other path and ruin the planet that nurtures so much life. And if we carry on doing what we're doing now, then the planet will most likely end up what it's like in this episode. The message is extremely relevant and definitely makes an impact. Although it's not really taken seriously by the other characters, it doesn't weaken the impact though. Number 1. False Reality Coming in as the most powerful moment in Love, Death and Robots is within the episode Beyond the Aquila Rift. Whilst following Captain Tom after his ship has ended up at an unknown location with an all too familiar face, you gradually start to cotton on to the fact that things aren't quite what they seem when members of the crew are starting to question it and Greta getting cut and it being completely healed. It's here when Tom then finds out the truth of where he is and what he's actually doing. He's being fed a false reality as his ship has been seized and captured by this alien creature that clearly feeds off of ships and their crews. Visually, the starved state, gaunt eyes and scared look is extremely striking down the camera, with the wreckage of his ship and many others. Then, once the alien creature walks out, it is definitely a creature that is not only the most memorable in the anthology, but definitely the most creepiest. When he screams and it cuts to white, it translates across the screen and you feel the uneasiness, anger and frustration of him being stuck there. And then after that, he wakes up and he doesn't remember a thing. For me, it is definitely the most powerful moment in the entirety of Love, Death and Robots. So, there you have it. The five most powerful moments in Love, Death and Robots. Before you go, make sure you follow me on Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore and tweet me what your most powerful moments are. If you want to see what I've rated many of the episodes in this anthology, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. As well, over on the community page, I've started releasing polls. Have a vote and have your say on what videos you see on this channel. Do you agree with this list? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. <laughs>